this framework you have, you can, you need just a little bit to add to it, or you don't even need to add to it. And then you might find a new dimension. Uh, the, the, there is something that just happens to be available, and it's these plastic tubes you're using. Um, the hot glue, if you even use hot glue, just even at the joints, you don't need it. You know this hot glue, the um, body quality you use? Uh, just hot glue your joints. It's not needed, they'll never come out. But when you use this hot glue, uh, you produce a certain amount of gans of hydrogen. Uh, and then when you stick it on the plastic, it stays there. In the, in, the, in, the, in the future time, when you use it as a frame, you have available hydrogen. You don't need to do it. Um, use the properly... Sorry about this, it's the boss of the house. Um, the, the, the atomic hydrogen... Oh, it's different. The atomic hydrogen uh, released in the environment, you can use it in a very effective way. Very, very effective way. I use the hot glues as an energy source. These uh, atomic hydrogen, uh, these, um, these, um, some of these gases are atomic, some are molecular. And uh, the the process will give you a huge amount of energy. And something which you overlook, uh, even with one you explain, you look at the temperature. You got to look at the plasma flow strength. Even in your caustic, the way you eat it, as the GANS goes to the bottom, it creates a different feed strength. This, in all your caustic systems, you don't have a caustic interaction. Once you stop producing the GANS, even if it's boiling or it's the whole condition, you continuously create a flow of field. It is not matter state anymore. And if you understand this in all your systems, then you can use it. The second, the second, the first GANS is released, even in the caustic. Caustic is not in the matter state anymore. The caustic is exactly, uh, uh, what you call it, the water from the caustic, when you use it. That water is a plasma, GANS plasma. You have no use for it, but I use it heavily, because nobody has understood. How come you take a GANS, you wash it, you put it in a water, and then you use it as a GANS plasma. Yeah? Copper or whatever. Uh, is there any difference between that water and the GANS, with the caustic water you use? It's, it's, a, it's a plasmatic GANS. It's one oh. of the most powerful. But the problem with it is, depends how you started it, and what you put in it. If you so I used deliberately used to put potassium in it. Even uh, Armand knows we I buy a separate amount of potassium uh, as an oxide it? in the yes. lab. It's got don't, but you have to wash it. You can wash this uh, water of the custom. There is a I way to do it. it. Four or five. Pardon? I wash it four or five, maybe six times, Mr. Kish. No, the water of the gun, uh, the caustic. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So then you can use it in a very beautiful ways. In a beautiful ways. And uh, you, these plastic frames you use, just seal them in one end and the other. Put uh, the heads of Coca-Cola bottle, the thread ends, inside these tubes. I put some caustic in it and seal it. It's a frame nobody knows, but you release a huge amount of energy around the digital system. When I was in Iran, uh, I, I asked Caroline to send me, she went around the whole of God knows uh, best Flanders, finding Coca Cola, cutting the top, shredding them, and sending them to Iran from the green to the green in Africa.
I still have them, they're somewhere in the lab, the ones I brought back. Uh, there are little things you can do, but you're in such a hurry to do things that you miss the little things. The, you, you make a small cost, just put the head in a small caustic and put it in these tubes you're making, your brains, and seal it. But the energy is plasmatic, it comes so much, you find your energy system is totally different. Get the hot glues and uh, just, just glue plastics together and put it in these tubes. With a little bit of cost, just a caustic. The energy release will be for thousands of years. If the carbon of the tube doesn't work, but you nano coat it inside very rapidly, it becomes a cocoon of itself. In the beginning, when it's hot, you work with the matter state. But you know, in that point, you call you created gas and hot chili gas. When you leave it in the liquid, now is the plasmatic part which comes into operation, the gas part, because what you made separated and came off, the whitish cloud at the bottom of the plastic, now creates a, a plasmatic condition. And the molecular structure separate than uh, atomic structure separate than matter structure separate, you interact with the spirit. You charge them up. It's the same as the nano layer, it's the same as how you work with the gas port. Now the energy of the gas which you release at the bottom of the is absorbed between the layers. You create layers internally which you don't see, but the structure are totally different. And this is how your brain has different layers. Time. You produce hugely different systems. Uh, I see it's become what you call it, battery, chicken factory. People produce as many quarters as they like. They do so much. I made this hundreds, but you make a hundred, I make one. You produce one kilowatt, I produce a thousand. I take three days, you take half a day. So now you have all the knowledge. Now try to go it. It takes a million years to build a star. It takes a hundred thousand years to make it happen. Yeah, you know, do you want to play with dinosaurs or do you want to play with? Take the time. Just, just it's so much rush, I don't understand what's a rush for. Just producing things, or do you produce one system which works you? But take your time, it'll be very powerful. The system you have can be very powerful. If it's a structured plan to absorb energy, every frame, every piece you use in this frame is an energy source. And you throw it away, because you're so concentrated on having the coils. If you have the coils and you can create a field barrier with a white frame, that the energy in the box becomes now the coils are in a plasmatic condition and they're continuously supplied in a field that is against, you are ahead of anyone in the whole technology development. But you don't see it. You already, if you nanocode your tubes, and put a nano quartz material inside that can support the nano field because you only use hydrogen and carbon as the structure of the white tube, which means your filtering is very low, so you create huge amounts of power coming out of it. Your coils are in a field condition. Your coils are working in what we are trying to teach now, but you don't see it when you look at it as a frame and look at it as a jewel box. Dismantle it. I, I tried to explain this to Ali once, but you couldn't understand it as a carbon dioxide. But the your brain, if you look at it, if you understand the principle behind the teachings of self law, you make your brain the source of energy for your system by the high Take your time, develop it. When you nano quoted it, you wash the place that time. You wasted, you built such a thing and you wasted. 
So by nano coating the outside of all the white pipes that I had on my outside. No, no, you do inside. You don't touch that. Well, you nano coat the inside, and you put some Coca Cola threads inside it. You put, it, put some caustic in it, and put them inside, and they will. You have a huge energy source. You got to look every level you made. Now the fields of the what comes out from inside the tube makes a curtain. You understand? It makes yes. a field curtain. And when you box it, you have an energy resource. Your coil will produce energies and say, I don't know why it's making so much because you already have put the source to it in the pipe. A lot of work I do is hidden and people don't understand. Because well, I understand the process, but you got to understand how you do things. Your nano coating, if you already create, in the teaching last week, I put circles on the circles on the circles. You, you got to understand, 90% of your energy source comes from the brain. If you don't know how to play with it. You make a frame, you create one kilowatt. I make the same frame my way up to this a thousand kilowatt. You, you see it's the same copper, but why don't I get this? How come it works with him? Because I don't tell you the trick. You understand? So, uh, you make all these things, you nano call the tube, but you don't leave a source of energy in it. And then you have trap on top of trap on top of trap. Your frame is a huge energy supply. And then you make it because you have conditioned it. Um, these, even your pipelines, even your wires, connecting wires, all these counts. So if I, if I put caustic solution, because I left each corner open, so that I could do that, so I, you know, so that you don't, you don't do a caustic solution. Putting a caustic solution on its own, you need to introduce a source that the caustic over time releases that. We put caustic in our coil winding in the factory and the sugar. Oh, so you, uh, you're, uh, so you want this to be a feeding uh, source. So I understand that part. So uh, if I make a mixture of Gantz and honey and caustic, and, and whatever, I don't think, whatever, whatever you do, whatever you do, and fill you, the pipe you with. You got to look. You, you got to look what your material is made of and how you do it. Uh, some of these plastics are made to contain hold cost, uh, caustic. So if it's made to hold caustic over a period of time, um, you produce a little caustic uh, with a... You always need the energy source. Your energy source is CH3. And the only energy source you can use, which is dynamic, is... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, plastics, different kind of plastics. Not all plastics respond to release in hydrogen. And I try to stay do. away from all the uh, cl chloride plastics. Look at the. There's no uh, lead. Look at the Coca Cola bottle. Coca Cola bottle, you the, the top is one of the best sources. 